Italia. Hello, dear water polo fans around the world. Welcome back once again to the April 11th pool here in Belgrade. This is the gold medal match of the Land 2022 Champions League season in the final tournament. So Pac stands here at the April 11th pool and it's going to be the host team Novi Belgrade who will compete against the title holder, Proreco, the record title holder I should say who have a total of nine gold medals to their name so far. And now the teams are being introduced here first, the host team, Novi Begrad. This is their first appearance in the Champions League and they are here in the final. They finished third in their group, in the group stage behind Brescia and Ferenc Varos. Then two fantastic matches here in the final tournament beating Marseille 16 goes to 10 on Thursday in the quarterfinal and yesterday a thrilling match against uh, Brescia 14 to 13 in the end for the Serbs here's the team list of the team coached by Igor Milanovic one of the true legends of this uh, great sport Milanovic who won actually the Champions League title with Partizan Belgrad back in 2011 and with Reku as well in 2015 can he make it with one more team that would be actually a great record in the history of water polo? He could be the first coach to win the Champions League title with three different clubs. So now, the introduction of the Italian team, Proreco. Here's Marco Delungo, who had a really impressive performance yesterday against Ferenc Varos. When uh, actually in the first period and also partly in the second one, Reco was suffering against the Hungarians, but in the end it was a comfortable victory, 10 to 7 for Reco. On Thursday, that was uh, a heroic performance against Barcelona. They were trailing by two goals, but in the end it was 11 to 10 for Reco. Full of champions, both teams, and a uh, couple of players have managed to clinch the Champions League title already with uh, different clubs as well. Here's the team list of Proreco, coached by Sandro Sukno. Here he is, Sandro Sukno himself also a former Champions League winner with Reco 10 years ago he finished the title with the Italian club so the two referees of this gold medal match Boris Margheta from Slovenia and George Stavridis from Greece and we have the TWPC delegates representing Glenn Anker Moliner, Dejan Perisic and the three time Olympic champion Tomasz Molnar so Novi Belgrad for the first time or Proreco for the tenth time? That's the question right before the start. I say that I feel amazing, very well. The team is feeling comfortable and we are fully prepared for the final game. Of course they're playing at home. They have a ton of experience, um, a lot of gold medalists, but it's one game. Uh, we're extremely confident in ourselves, in our preparation, um, and you know we should have got there, execute our game plan. Um, and again, we're super confident. Uh, it's more about ourselves executing, executing our game plan, make sure we play our game. Viktor Rasevich, who was the Champions League winner with uh, Svena Zvezda back in 2013. Here's the trophy. So the two teams will fight for this very worthy trophy. And we also heard uh, Ben Hellock, the American international of uh, Proreco, the center forward who had a great game yesterday. So last year here in Belgrade, in the April 11th pool, Proreco beat Ferenc Varos in the final 9-6. Can they repeat that performance? Move 
both teams are the champions on home soil. Novi Belgrad managed to win the Serbian League as well as the Regional League this season. They finished second in the Serbian Cup behind the Radicki Belgrad, the other team of uh, Serbia that uh, didn't manage to make it through to the final tournament. Reko won against uh, Brescia, of course, in the final. 2-1 on aggregate. Third and decisive match, 5-2 with sensational defensive play. They haven't, they didn't concede at all in the first three quarters against Brescia. So, world-class players on both sides. Former Champions League winners, couple of uh, Olympic champions in the Belgrade squad. And here are the fans here in the April the 11th pool. So that's going to be Novi Belgrade, the host team in the white caps and uh, in the dark ones, Rodeco, the reigning champion. Well, this match will be followed, of course, by the Award ceremony. So stay with us uh, until the late hours today. Now the team talks in the water. Dusha Mandic, the former record player, now the captain of Novi Belgrade, and the other captain, Alexander Ibovic, who now the team talks. And now the last match of the 2022 Len Champions League final tournament. The gold medal match is just about to begin. 11 great matches behind us today. We saw that uh, Ferenc Varos managed to finish the bronze medal. They beat uh, Brescia by 14 goals to 12 in the placement match. For the fifth place, it was Barcelona against Hanover, 12 goals to 10. And for the seventh place, Marseille against Jukh Dubrovnik, 15 to 13. So once again, Novi Belgrad in the white caps and Proreco in the dark ones. Boris Margheta is going to throw the ball in the water. There's the first sprint. The first fight for the ball. And Reco manages to reach it first, so they have the first possession. Now Younger passes the ball to Pietro Fiori. Multiple Champions League winners. Younger and Fiori as well. Now once again, Arnold Younger, only nine seconds left on the shot clock. Five seconds. Younger, he's the crossbar. And it's once again the great Brazilian goalkeeper Coimbra in front of the Novi Belgrad goal. The other side is, of course, Marco Delungo, the first choice goalkeeper of Reco. And there's the first exclusion of the final. Francesco Di Fulvio is out for 20 seconds. It's a 6 0 5 situation for Novi Belgrade. Five seconds on the shot clock. They need to do something now. And they score. Radovic Drasovic takes the lead for the host. Great start by the Serbs for the joy of the home crowd. The assist came from Viktor Rasovic and Radomir Drasovic with this cool finish. Now 
by Pietro Fioli. Pushing forward with the ball. Fioli to Fulvio. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Fioli, now six seconds. And the shot goes over the crossbar. Now the chance for Novi Begrad to double their lead. Here's Coimbra, the Brazilian, who had a really impressive performance so far in this tournament, 22 years of age. One of the key members of this great Serbian team. Drasovic, the only goal scorer so far. Gets it back from Jakšić. Nikola Jakšić, shot went wide. This is the third successive season and uh, Nikola Jakšić managed to get through to the final of the Champions League. In 2019 he won the title with Ferenc Varos. Last year he lost it to Proreco. So still one nil, and Reco is looking for an equalizer. But they only managed to hit the crossbar. Oh, nervous start by the Italians. They are still yet to score. Stranina Rasovic. Radovid Rasovic gets the call. He was found by Gergő Zaranki. No foul on the center forward, but Boris Margheta shows that uh, there was actually a foul. So the Serbs win back possession. No exclusion. Just another ordinary foul. Misha Mandic got the call and now turnover foul. So now Reko, another chance to make an equalizer. Three minutes into the gold medal match. Violi. And the first exclusion from Novi Bagrat. Six on five for Reko. They hit the post. There's a rebound, and now goal number one for Proreco. So finally, Aro Younger finds the back of the net. The Australian makes it 1-0. Aro Younger won the title for the first time with Hungarian team Solnok back in 2017 in the Duna Arena, the famous final against Juk Dubrovnik. Three years ago in Hanover, with Ferenc Varos when they beat Olympiakos in the penalty shootout in the final. And last year, he was already a member of Proreco. And that time they beat the Hungarian champion. He's hungry for his uh, fourth Champions League title as well. Nikola Jakšić gets the call. And it's Valahopoulos, the hero of yesterday's semi-final. Well, the Italians thought that it was actually a turnover foul, but it's a rather an exclusion foul. Gonzalo Echenique is out for 20 seconds. Now the extra man advantage for Novi Begrad. Vlahopoulos. Zoranki. And the shot by Georgia Vucinic. Easily saved by Marco De Lungo. And now Halfway through the first quarter, it's Novi Begrad 1, Eureko 1, and the Italians try to turn the score. There's a chance to do that, and they do that. And the goal scorer is Giacomo Canella. Goal number 27 already in the tournament, regarding, of course, the whole season. Here's Milanovic who won his uh, first Champions League title as a coach with Partizan Belgrade actually in Italy in the final against Reco and in 2015 
He won the trophy once again that time already with the team of Reco. So there's the latest exclusion. And that means now six on five for Novi Begrad. And Luca Lonchar swims out for 20 seconds. Laopoulos. One more pass. And the crossbar saves Rodeco. But Vlahopoulos scores. And that's the equalizer. Novi Begrad T, Rodeco T. Angelos Vlahopoulos has scored some uh, spectacular and very important goals yesterday in the last quarter against Brescia. So he was man of the match that time. That's a cool finish. No chance at all for Marco De Lungo. Three minutes and 11 seconds remaining on the clock. Fulvio. Now Gergő Zolánki gets the call, but now there's a counter foul. So the chance for Novi Begrad to regain the lead, which they had at 1 0. That's a free throw. Now Hopulos and saved by the Lungo. So two goals apiece. Two players are left behind, so now it's a five-on-five -five situation for a couple of seconds. Until the other two join the others. It's another exclusion. Once again, six on five for Echo. Vucinic is out for 20 seconds. Gergő Zanaki, great assist, but saved by Coimbra. That is a poor shot in the end. But the point is, Coimbra has his first save today. Still a two-all inside the last two minutes of the opening quarter. Savinja Rashavic gets the call. And that's another foul, and that is actually an exclusion foul. Alexander Ivovic, the captain, goes out. And a power play situation for Novi Begrad. Rashovic and gets a great goal from the power play. Nikola Jakšić also on the score sheet now. 90 seconds to go in the first quarter. And it's Novi Begrad free, Pro Reco 2. Two time Olympic champion with the Serbian team, one time world champion as well, Nikola Jakšić. Who came through the Partizan Belgrade Academy. Then he joined Ferenc Varos, Champions League title, European Super Cup. Hungarian Championship as well as Hungarian Cup titles. Pioli. 11 seconds still on the shot clock and that's a missed attempt. So now we are heading for the last minute of the first quarter and Francesco Di Fulvio misses the target. A one goal lead for the Vibagrad. They try to extend that lead. And an action goal by Dusha Matic. 54 seconds to go. And the mascot can also celebrate this one. Dusha Matic, the captain, the former Proreco man, who makes it 4 2. So the first time, it's a two-goal lead for the hosts. 
also a two-time Olympic and one-time world champion, three-time European champion, Dusan Mandic. Last year's MVP here in Belgrade, the final eight tournament. But that time with Rureko. And the pass to the center forward. And that's a penalty foul. So it's going to be a five meter penalty for Rureko. We have uh, 35 seconds remaining on the clock. That's a great chance to reduce the gap. And Igor Milanovic is. Not please with that. And that's goal number three for Prodeco. Gergő Zalanki converts the penalty. No chance at all for Coimbra. Gergő Zalanki, the Hungarian, former Ferenc Varos player, who signed for Reco last summer after losing. The final here in Belgrade. Exclusion, not a chance, but the Italians have stolen the ball. So now they have the opportunity to even level the score before the end of the first quarter. Let's see whether it happens or not, and it does. Oh, that's a great goal by Giacomo Canella. And this is his second one. Uh, Coimbra somehow didn't manage to save this. And instead of uh, winning by five goes to three, they lost the ball, the serves, and from the counter attack, it was a goal by Canella. Well, a little mistake by Coimbra, he apologized for that. So, very exciting final so far. The Serbs already had a two goal lead, but after the first eight minutes, it's Novi Belgrad 4, Proreco 4. And let's check the first quarter statistics. The 44% shot efficiency for Novi Belgrad, 40% for Proreco. Three personal fouls. Uh, for Novi Magrand and five for Prodeco, two steals already by the Italians. Well, it's good to see so many water polo fans here at the April, the 11th pool. And they are enjoying this. Like us. And here is Sandra Sukno, the young coach, only 31 years of age, but he had to retire from professional water polo in May 2019 due to some uh, heart problems. He was actually a great player. Winning, uh, of course, the Champions League title with Reco ten, ten years ago. Seven years ago, he also went through to the final with uh, Primorje Rijeka. And he was uh, the Champions League top scorer that season, but they lost the final, so they finished as runner-up. Also, the second swim-off is won by the Italians. Now, younger, tries to find a teammate. Nice Gergő Zalanki, passes to Pietro Fioli. Still Fioli, but that's a turnover foul. So Novi Begrad has the possession. Coimbra. Long ball to Srahinja Rasovic. 
And Rashovic scores! So, Novi Begrad regains the lead. They have the first goal in the second quarter. Well, just like his uh, sibling, he was the winner with Savannah Zvezda's Red Star Belgrade nine years ago in the Champions League. Also played for Basoneta, Eger and Radnicki. Last year he signed for Novi Begrad. And of course won the Olympic Championship title in Tokyo also last year. 5-4 for Novi Begrad. And the Italians once again have a slow start. Just like the first period. Jakcic. And that's a turnover foul. Now it's Marco De Lungo keeping the ball. Passes to Gerge Zalanki. Still Zalanki. But only seven seconds left on the shot clock. And Zalanki rather throws the ball away. And this way, no chance for a quick counter attack for Novi Bagrat. But they have the possession. Strahinja Rasovic. The latest goal scorer passes to Drasovic. Back to Strahinja Rasovic. Drasovic. Rahopoulos. And the backhand shot. Saved by Marco Del Lungo. Only one goal so far in the second quarter, scored by Strahinja Rasovic. Leko is still yet to score in this period. Fioli. And that's a comfortable save by Coimbra. Save number two by the Brazilian goalkeeper. Radomir Drasovic. Great support by the Serbian fans. And the Serbs are looking for goal number six, but they missed the target. This time Nikola Jakšić shot uh, over the crossbar. Younger. Zoraki. Fiori. Back to Gerger Zalanki and Zalanki shot wide. Still 5 4. And the record haven't managed to score for a while. Not a single goal in the second quarter by the Italians. Jakcic. Rahopoulos. Pass to the center forward, and now the exclusion foul. So Nicolas Presciutti is out for 20 seconds. And that's a power play situation for Novi Bagrat. Drasovic. The Serbs almost losing the ball, but somehow Sanyi Rasovic managed to save that. Rasovic is the crossbar, so it remains 5 4. That's the midpoint of the second quarter. Finds a teammate, and uh, that's another exclusion this time from Novi Bagrat. 6 5 for Echo. Nikola Jakšić is out. He is the first personal foul. 
Donanki, and the shot goes wide. Another missed opportunity for Proreco. It's a great pass by Zalanki, but uh, Ben Hallock, the American, missed the target. Drasovic. An exclusion from Proreco. So Younger is out. His first major foul. Drasovic. And another exclusion. So double advantage. Six on four for Novi Begrad. Ben Hellock is also out. But what a save by Marco De Lungo. They missed this great opportunity. For a couple of seconds, it was a six on four situation for Novi Begrad. But they couldn't take advantage of that. Fiori. Zanak is fouled. Ivovic. Five seconds on the shot clock. They need to do something now. And that's a great block. Still 5-4. And Reco is still yet to score in quarter number two. Only one single goal in this period. Vlahopoulos. Drasovic. And now comes Marco De Lungo. And he has the ball. Inside the last two minutes of the first half. And a one-timer, another great block by the Serbs. But another 20 seconds for Proreco for this offensive play. Zanaki, Fiori. Di Fulvio. Six seconds on the shot clock. Fiori and Coimbra makes the save. But the Italians once again have the rebound. Gergo Zanaki passes to Pietro Fiori. Francesco Di Fulvio and the exclusion. So 6 on 5 now for Proreco. Srahinja Rasovic is the excluded player. The last minute of the second quarter. And another exclusion. 6 on 4 this time for Proreco. The other Rasovic, Viktor, is also out. Zonaki. And Zonaki scores. He's chosen the short side and Coimbra could do nothing against that. 41 seconds to go in the second quarter. That's a great match so far by Gergo Zalanki, the Hungarian. You already converted uh, a five-meter penalty in the first quarter. That was goal number one scored by Proreco in the second quarter. Fantastic gold medal match, as expected, here in the April 11th pool. Can Novi Belgrade write history today? Vlahopoulos. Exclusion from Reco. That's an extra man advantage this way for Novi Belgrade. Canela is out for 20 seconds. His first major foul, Vlahopoulos. And that's a great power play. And Nikola Jakšić with the finish. Six five for Novi Belgrad. And Nikola Jakšić scores his second in the final. Great assist by Lucia Mandic, the captain. 
No chance at all for Marco Del Lungo. The last couple of seconds in the second quarter, an exclusion from Novi Begrad. And Coimbra makes the save. But the ball has touched the rope. But the clock has already run down, so that's the end of quarter number two. It's still a very exciting gold medal match. It was 4 all after the first quarter. And Novi Begrad won the second one by two goals to one. 40% shot efficiency for Novi Begrad, only 27 for Proreco. Total of 16 personal fouls and a couple of uh, great goals and great saves. Two fantastic teams in the top competition of Europe, the top club competition. But don't forget, they're gonna be the top competition for the national teams as well later on this summer the end of August and in the first half of September the European Championships to be had in Split Croatia. Van Gogh lead for Novi Belgrade in the gold medal match. As I mentioned, they finished third in the group stage behind uh, Brescia and Ferenc Varos, but they were secured uh, an automatic spot, of course, uh, here in the final tournament. The right of the host. Rodeco won their group, Group B, ahead of Marseille, Juk and Hanover. So as usual, they finished as group winners in the prelims. And this is actually the 17th occasion for Pereco to be here in the final of the Champions League. On the 16 previous occasions, they managed to win the gold medal nine times and they lost the final seven times. Last year they won the decisive match against Ferenc Varos. Before that, in 2018, they lost the final at home in Genova to Olympiakos. Once again, they have the first possession. They've also won the third sprint. Younger. And they are still a man up. Now, it's 6-on-6 six six already. And Younger scores! Amazing goal by the Australian. Aaron Younger, the former Seged, Yuk, Soldok and Ferenc Varos player who signed for Reco two years ago. After winning the title, of course, with Ferenc Varos. But before that, he won also with Soldok in 2017. And last year, he won the gold medal once again, that time ready with Pereco. Six all. No, 
Now the Serbs are pushing forward the pass to the center forward and exclusion from Reko. Luka Lonchar is out now. And Lonchar has two personal fouls to his name. And the goal is in the net. The ball is in the net and the goal scorer once again, Nikola Jacic, 7-6 for Novi Begrad. And this is goal number three for former Ferenc Varos player. Five attempts and three goals coming from uh, Nikola Jacic. So once again, one goal lead for Novi Begrad. Younger, Di Fulvio, Zanaki. That's another exclusion foul, so this time it's a power play situation for Echo. Angelos Malachopoulos is out. Zanaki, Di Fulvio, and a save by Coimbra. It remains 7-6. chance for Novi Belgrad to extend the lead. But now they only have seven seconds to finish this attacking play. They miss the target. Del Lungo finds Aro Younger. And the Australian is pushing forward. Still younger. Now Gergő Zanaki. And the reflected shot. Another 20 seconds for Echo. And another missed attempt. One goal apiece in the third quarter. But it's 7 to 6 for host team Novi Belgrad in the gold medal match of the Champions League final tournament. The shot goes over the crossbar. Former Echo man, Dushan Mandic, missed the target, and now the counter-attack, and the Fulvio is fouled. Five-meter penalty for Prorecco. And it's Dusko Pietlovic, who has a major foul to his name. Vietlovic, another former Reco man. He won the title with the Italian team twice. And also once with Zesda, once with Partizan. He could be a five-time winner of the Champions League. And once again, Gergő Zanaki tries to convert this. He managed to score from the five-meter penalty in the first quarter. And he does it once again. 7 all. Now it's goal number three for the Hungarian. European champion two years ago. And the Hungarians won in Budapest. The final in the penalty shootout against Spain. Zalanki having a rest and now Novi Belgrad with his offensive play. Of course, saves this time Marco Del Lungo and there's a turnover foul. Uh, Alexander Ivovic. And exclusion from Novi Belgrad. And another five meter penalty. That is a foul on Matteo Icardi. And the Greek referee, George Tavridis, shows that uh, he was hit on the arm by 
Vasilija Martinović. Pomazi Viktor Rašović. So another five meter penalty. This time it's the captain, Alexander Ivovic. And he scores. And goal number one for Ivovic. And Proreko has the lead. 8 7. So, with the exception of the 2012 2013 season, when he was player of Hugh Dubrovnik, he's been at Reko since 2010. The three time Champions League winner, Alexander Ivovic. Member of the Montenegrin national team as well. So, the third converted 5 meter penalty by Reko. Jakcic. Mandic and an exclusion from Reko. So Mateo Cardi is out now for 20 seconds. Can Novi Begrad make the equalizer? Lahopoulos. And he can. Strainja Rasovic. With goal number eight for the Serbs. That's a really cool finish by the Olympic champion. Another match halfway through the third quarter. Echenike and Coimbra can celebrate now. It remains 8 all. And he passes to Nikola Jakšić. And the Serbs try to regain the lead. Out comes Marco De Lungo and he has the ball now. And Pietro Fioli is pushing forward now. Echerike. And the Italians losing the ball. No foul on Van Halen this time, so inside the last three minutes of period number three. It's Novi Magrad 8, Prodeco 8. In the last match of the final tournament. Saved by Marco De Lungo. Directly from the corner throw. So once again, a one goal lead for the Bieber Great. Well, we've seen a couple of uh, great goals so far, but now it was Franja uh, Rasovic. But that was the most spectacular one, that's for sure. Two goals coming from Franja Rasovic in succession. Bagrat turned the score. Ivovic, Di Fulvio, five seconds on the shot clock. So double exclusion. There's gonna be a five on five situation this way. Two minutes and eight 
seconds remaining on the clock. So, Svenja Rašović from Novi Begrad. And uh, Gonzalo Echenike from Rakow was out. And the Italians have lost the ball. So, once again, a chance for Novi Begrad. It's at the last two minutes of this quarter. Gogo, seven seconds on the shot clock, and the shot goes over the crossbar. Here's George Vucinic, who is the target. The last 90 seconds in this period. And the deflected shot, great block by the Serbs. Coimbra. Vlahopoulos. And there's a counter-attack. And goal number 10 for Novi Begrad. Well, the Serbian fans are going absolutely crazy. And the goal scorer is the former Echo man, Dusko Pietlovic. Two-time Olympic, two-time world and five-time European champion. And as I mentioned, he could be a five-time Champions League winner as well, in case of a victory of Novi Begrad. Thirty-seven years of age, Luško Pietlovic. So 10-8. And we are inside the last minute of quarter number three. Di Fulvio, exclusion from Novi Begrad. There's a six on five situation for Echo. And Vucinic is out. That's his uh, second personal foul. Di Fulvio. Zanaki, Di Fulvio. Back to Gerge Zanaki. And Zanaki scores. Really brave play of uh, way of play by Gergo Zanaki. That was uh, already his eighth attempt. Actually, his uh, ninth attempt, and his uh, fourth goal. Ah, that was a cracker. No chance at all for Joe Pedro Coimbra Serra, the Brazilian goalkeeper. The team of uh, Sandro Sukno is turning now only by Van Gogh. Fantastic support by the home fans. There are a couple of record fans as well here in the airfield 11 pool. 22 seconds to go. Drasovic. in the water, Dushan Mandic gets the call. Seven seconds on the shot clock. And it's a goal number 11 for the Serbs. Nikola Jakšić, once again on the score sheet. Eleven to nine. And that's goal number four for Nikola Jakšić. Svahinja Rašović has three goals to his name. On the other side, it's Gergo Zalanki, who's the top scorer of Reko, scoring four times. So, a two-goal lead for the host team. Right before the last quarter of the gold medal match. So let's check the third quarter statistics. Only a 32% shot efficiency for Proleco, 44% for Novi Magrad. The Serbs on 
also had some uh, action shot goals. Total of 25 personal fouls. Five steals by Recto. Two block shots by the Serbs. What an amazing final. And now Novi Belgrad in their first ever appearance here in the final tournament. They are very close to the gold medal in the Champions League. And experience is on his side, Igor Milanovic. He was a legend as a player and he's a legend as a coach in Botripolo. was named in February, in January, Vladimir Kuliasinovich resigned as the head coach of Novi Belgrad after a couple of uh, bad results and uh, his uh, successor Daniel Jovovich was sacked a month later. Then came the living legend Igor Milanovic and can lead Novi Belgrad to the Champions League title after winning the title with Partizan and Reco in the 2010s. Jakic and a save by Nelungo. That's a corner throw for Novi Belgrad. Once again, it's Nikola Jakic. Tries to do something. Finds Rashovic. Rashovic, and the shot goes wide. It remains 11 to 9. 11 matches so far in this uh, final tournament. If you have, you haven't seen a penalty shootout, all the matches were decided in regular time. Ivovic. Five minutes on the shot clock, but that's the exclusion. So there's excellent advantage for Prodeco. Nikola Jakcic is out. And timeout called by Sandro Sukno, the head coach of Prodeco. So, it's still 11 to 9. Novi Belgrad, the host team, has the lead in the gold medal match. But now Proreco has the extra man advantage. So Nikola Jakšić is out. He also has two personal fouls to his name. Zanaki, Di Fulvio, Gergo Zanaki. Great play and a great goal. Aro Younger, the goal scorer, 11 to 10. That's a great finish and a great assist, I should say, from uh, Gergo Zanaki. 
Younger also has two goals to his name. No already three. Canela has two. Younger three. Zalanki four. They are the top scorers of Proreco. Vlahopoulos, only a one goal lead. Really tight gold medal match. Vlahopoulos, Drasovic. Vlahopoulos, Amandic. Amandic gets the call. Back to Angelos Vlahopoulos. Seven seconds on the shot clock. And the save by Marco Del Lungo. Pass to Pietro Fioli. Reco is looking to make an equalizer. Di Fulvio. Younger saves the situation. He gets the ball back. And Younger scores! In the very last moments of this offensive play, an action goal scored by the Australian, Arrow Younger. So two goals in succession by Younger. And he also has four goals to his name, just like his teammate Gergő Zalanki and his opponent Nikolaj Akšić. Eleven or Vlahopoulos. Mandic, back to Angelos Rahopoulos. Now the exclusion from Reco. Pietro Fiori is the excluded player. He has two major fouls to his name. Six on five for Novi Magrat. But they haven't managed to score a poor finish. And a comfortable save in the end by Marco De Lungo. Well, Dusko Piatlovic, uh, with a difficult task in front of the goal, surrounded by two defenders. Di Fulvio. Again, the record turned the score. No, they can't. Not this time. Coimbra, with the help of the crossbar, makes the save. Giacomo Canella was denied, and now the timeout called by Igor Milanovic. Novi Belgrade is yet to score in the last quarter. Almost uh, three and a half minutes gone from the last period. Two goals coming from Aro Younger. Now the score is leveled 11 all in the gold medal match. Jakšić and another exclusion. So Alexander Ivovic also has two personal fouls to his name. The captain is also in the edge of ejection. And the third score. They regain the lead from this power play situation. And another. Excellent finish by Nikolaj Jakšić. 
That's already goal number five. He's the top scorer of the match at the moment. Actually, one of uh, five Novi Belgrad players who have uh, two personal fouls to their names. Regarding Greco, they also have five players with two majors. So, halfway through the last quarter, Novi Belgrad 12, Greco 11. Younger, Di Fulvio, nine seconds on the shot clock. Ben Hellock in the center forward position. Younger, now Hellock, but the pass was not the best one. And now Coimbra, keeping the ball, 12 to 11 for Novi Bagrat. Free throw for the Serbs. They still have time. 13 seconds on the shot clock. And it's even an exclusion from Proreco. Francesco Di Fulvio, that's his first personal foul. But they are men down. And Novi Bagrat can, at least they have the opportunity to regain the two goal lead. But the short clock has run down. And Marco De Lungo had to make the save. Shot came just in time. So this way a corner throw and another 20 seconds for Novi Belgrade, but it's already six on six. No more power play. Gogov. Now eight seconds on the shot clock. Mandic gets the call, there's the free throw. And comfortable save by De Lungo inside the last three minutes. Reco is looking for an equalizer. And there were four men ball in front of uh, Dusan Mandic. But in the end, De Lungo had to make the save. Zanaki. Fulvio, Gergely Zaranki, and the save by Coimbra. Corner throw. And the red card. For no, not for Sandro Sukno, he can remain at the bench. One of the staff members has got the red card, so he had to leave the bench. He had to leave the pool, actually. Nareko is looking for Nicolazer, but they missed the target. We are heading for the last two minutes of the last game in the 2021-2022 Champions League season. And if uh, Novi Belgrade manages to score from this offensive play, then they will be very close to their first ever Champions League gold medal. But the shot is blocked. So Reco is still alive. Five seconds to go. Di Fulvio. Canella. Now the pass to the center forward. And the classic center forward goal. And there's the equalizer. One minute and 11 seconds remaining on the clock. And Ben Hallock, the American, levels the score. The 2019 Pan American winner 
with the Team USA in Lima. Well, that's a great goal by Ben Hallock. What a fantastic final. And both coaches still had the chance to go for a timeout once, respectively. Now the last minute of the game. Robin Belgrad with the attacking play. Vlahopoulos. And there is goal! An action goal in the very last minute of regular time. Only 50 seconds to go. Nikola Jacic could be the match winner. Goal number six in a gold medal match of the Champions League. So no wonder that uh, even Alexander Shapic jumped up. Here he is. The first man of Novi Belgrad. 13 to 12. Now the hosts have the lead that Reco is in a muscular situation and they have now the extra man advantage. And of course, a team timeout. Oh my goodness. It couldn't be tighter than that. A one goal lead for Novi Belgrade, but they will be a man down. So the power play for Pereco. They have one chance, their last chance to put this gold medal match to the penalty shootout. To stay alive. Six of five. Younger, the full Zaraki. De Fulvio. And Zalanki scores! 12 seconds remaining on the clock and the Hungarian makes it put into all. What a fantastic match by Gergő Zalanki. He scores his fifth today. In a crucial moment, the Serbian fans are ready to celebrate the gold medal. Only 12 seconds separated them and their team from winning the gold. And that was a re cracker once again by Gergi Zalanki. He was a match winner on Thursday against Barcelona. And the team timeout called by Milanovic this time. So thanks to this timeout, they haven't lost too much time. Reaching uh, the other half of the field, so they still have five seconds. And that's a free throw. Usha Mandic. And the save by Delungo. And the post save this time for Echo. Di Fulvio, and no decision after regular time. Novi Belgrade 13, Proreco 13. And the final goes to the penalty shootout. Four all after the first quarter. Novi Belgrade won the second one by two goals to one. They won 
even the third one by five goes to four. But in the last quarter, Reco won Fogo City. Alexander Sapic can't help in the water. He can only support his team, just like uh, many, many Serbian fans here in the April 11th pool. That's the full-time statistics.